Hello everybody and welcome to the shop. I decided today uh, that I had a few minutes I was going to come out and work on a cap. This is that spalted hackberry pen that I did a while back and I lost the cap. I remember it got really thin and when I tried to remove it from the uh, collet chuck a little bit of CA glue had worked itself back into the chuck. It was stuck. I pulled a little too hard on the cap and it basically just crushed like an egg in my hand. Uh, I'm going to do a real informal video today so let me show you where I'm at right now and uh, we'll just sort of work through this together. You can see that I've got a blank on the lathe. I just put it between centers and trued it up so that it would fit uh, into my 19-20 millimeter collet chuck. Here's a closer shot of the Bacote pen and I think that dark cap is going to look really striking against the pen. I drilled a hole in the end of my blank so that I could begin threading it and I noticed something. I brought my pen over and I went to fit it and it goes all the way in. This is a good example of why you got to pay a super close attention. I normally drill a 12 millimeter hole inside of my blank and I thought I was drilling a 12 millimeter hole but last time I put my bits away I slipped the 12.5 millimeter bit into the 12 millimeter uh, sleeve and the 12 millimeter bit into the 12.5 millimeter sleeve. So I just drilled a 12.5 millimeter hole and just rendered this blank useless. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to go get another one and start over. I went up on my loft and I pulled another blank down and I just so happened to have a pre-rounded blank that was sent to me by Jim Zimmerman a while back. I've chucked it up and I've gone ahead and drilled a 12 millimeter hole, which is actually, in my case, 15 30 seconds because I don't have a 12 millimeter bit that is on my list to get. I brought my pin back over and as you see when I slide the pin into the cap it stops right at the threads which is perfect. That means we're ready to start cutting those threads. Before we do you'll notice there's a lot of grain in this wood so what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak the inside of this with CA, I'm going to soak the outside of this with CA, then we'll start to cut our threads and we'll probably soak it and recut the threads once maybe twice uh, to make sure that that wood, the, the fiber in that wood is really tightly held together by that CA. I went ahead and saturated my blank with CA and you can see I spilt it all over the blank which won't hurt anything that'll all get turned away but when I cut the threads it just the wood was too soft and the threads just tore out so what I'm doing is I thread at the end of a piece of acrylic and it goes into the blank about this far I put some medium CA threaded it in and I'm letting it dry I'm gonna go ahead and part it off I'm gonna redrill and retap my holes uh, so now what will happen is I'll have the uh, acrylic that will sort of be a, a very fine shell on the inside of this uh, and it will give me a better grip. My threads won't tear out as bad so I should be able to make this work. I've got the body of my pin threaded into the cap. What I ended up doing, I went ahead and put another blank on here and I drilled the hole to uh, 15, 30 seconds and I went ahead and tapped it. I didn't have a lot of luck tapping it because the threads just chewed out so I went and I parted that off I drilled the 12.5 millimeter hole through the blank I took a piece of acrylic turned it down to 12.5 millimeters glued it inside of the blank which made a sleeve I don't know how well you can see that and now I, I can thread and it's a very tight thread the body of my pen threads beautifully into the cap so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get it out of the collet chuck, get it flipped around, and start shaping it to fit the body so it looks very aesthetic and very nice. Well, I had a great time in the shop today. I didn't quite accomplish what I set out to, so I'll be attempting this again at some point in the future. Um, it will probably be a little bit of time between this video and the next one, but I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, where are you at? What, are you going to have any videos? When are you going to have a video? Um, it's, it's still going to be a while. There's a lot going on. But here's the cap I was working on, and it's a little longer than I want it, but I, I, of course, the blank was about this long. I had just parted the end off. You can see the nubbin on there, and what happened is I had it on the, on the mandrel, and as I'm parting it off, uh, it bound between the, the, the parting tool bound between uh, the cap and the piece I was removing. When it did, this stopped turning, the lathe kept turning, and it literally ripped the little um, acrylic inlay out of there. You might be able to see, you can see, I don't know how well you can see it, it's so dark. 
but uh, it was a very fine piece of acrylic that I put in there as an inlay and that allowed me to thread this and now what happens is there's no threading at all <laughs> uh, I don't know you win some you lose some you know it, it was just fun for me to get out here and, and, and for the first time in a number of weeks uh, just have a little fun in the shop and I had a great time um, I once again will will let you know it's going to be a while before I'm back out here on a full-time basis like I had been in the past um, I've just been extremely busy and uh, it's it's not going to get any better for a couple of months there's a lot to do however I am my mind is constantly on the shop I'm constantly thinking about projects I'm constantly coming I had a great idea today talking with another turner so I've I really can't wait to get back out here and start spending time in the shop and with you guys again. I want to thank you for standing by me and uh, the comments that I've received from you guys. I, I really do appreciate that. You know, everybody is, is telling me, hey, Bob, do what you got to do. We're going to be here. Thank you so much. You know, that, that means the world to me. And uh, I, I will definitely be back. It, it's just all a matter of, of timing. Um, have a great evening. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.